Ti sei mai fermato un attimo ad osservarla, ad ammirare la sua bellezza, la sua genialità? Miliardi di persone che vivono le proprie vite inconsapevoli. figure out how to electronically stroke the ionosphere in just the right way you could return a signal um, to the earth that would affect the behavior of all of those um, in contact with that signal and so when you when you think about harp as a, a device that could actually do this that's where it, it actually caught my attention it utilizes um, essentially what is called a frequency following response or an FFR. And what this is, is where the, uh, the brain of human beings will lock on to an external signal and begin to mirror, begin to follow it. And what that does is alter brain chemistry in kind of the sort of grossest way. It can just uh, adjust or alter an emotional state as an example, from say uh, lethargic and passive to highly active and agitated. Um, almost like flipping on and off Um, a light switch. The ability to do this in a directed way on a, on a large scale with HARP is one thing. The other is to utilize any electromagnetic carrier, which inc includes television, radio, the internet, the power grid. Any of these uh, things can be modulated in such a way as, again, to couple or connect to the human body and then drive physiological responses to those external signals. Just think about it as if you're a radio receiver. So if you know enough to sort of tune the human radio, if you will, by analogy, you can affect any physiological process. And this isn't theoretical anymore. Uh, this is science fact. This is the direction in which our military is going for two purposes. One is they say for communication with our uh, own troops and two is for disabling or degrading um, adversarial troops. Um, by being able to override essentially the operator, the, the human being themselves. If you can affect the operator in such a way, you can literally shut down warfare. But not just um, in warfare. The idea of utilizing these technologies in the civilian sector, this is where I have deep concerns because the constraint of government is not such um, that they will constrain themselves in this regard. The temptation to use these technologies Um, historically has been too great and the abuses have been recorded in the record going back now over 50 years. There's over a half a million Americans, just Americans alone, had been victims of human experiments ranging from the things we're talking about today to uh, a number of other technologies that were tested. The fact is these projects continue on. Unwitting victims are the only way you can really test these things in the field And I would suggest that a lot of that testing happens overseas, um, outside of the uh, boundaries of the United States. Uh, this is what will drive us in the wrong direction. Utilizing um, these techniques in combination with big data will change the way in which the world functions and it will not be in favor of the average human being. The elites are worried because as we look at these very technologies designed um, to potentially enslave us, They are the very same underlying capacities that in fact uh, can free us. The mind control experiments of the US government yielded one very valuable piece of information. Each of us has within us a unique capability as created human beings where the same potential that is synthesized by man in mind control technologies and the ability of human beings to do tremendous things with mental processes is being shown in biophysics labs around the world. We are more than we think and the greatest threat to the elites is an awakened possibility free of fear. Because in fact, fear and worry inhibit your ability to reach the higher states of consciousness the very thing we need in the planet today. 
En noviembre del año pasado, sin ir más lejos, la, la Food and Drug Administration, la, la, el Departamento de Estados Unidos que regula precisamente todos estos aspectos sanitarios, autorizó por primera vez la producción a una, a una sociedad americana de un chip cerebral que grababa y estimulaba el cerebro. Grabar el cerebro significa que te están grabando todas tus emociones, mm. que saben no solamente eso, que pueden llegar a permitir prever cómo puedes actuar en el futuro. ¿no? Everything in our reality is a frequency. Everything. Thoughts are frequencies. Emotions are frequencies. And different emotions, whether it's joy or whether it's depression, are different frequencies. The human brain works in a certain frequency band and processes information in a certain frequency band. Therefore, if you can broadcast frequencies and information in those frequencies within the frequency band that the human mind interacts with reality then you can completely scramble them or implant thoughts and perceptions that people think are their own a violent protest that is a frequency people getting mass agitated uh, in mass states of fear. These are all frequencies. And if you can broadcast frequencies um, uh, 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 in, in a community or in, a, in an area, you can create mass hysteria, you can make, uh, create mass fear. This is a story about what happened in 1991 in, um, in the war against Iraq, describes a US psychological operation tactic directed against Iraqi troops in Kuwait. The US PSYOPs team set up its own portable FM transmitter and transmitted a sophisticated electronic system to speak directly to the mind of the listener, to alter and then train his brain waves to manipulate his brain's EEG patterns and artificially implant negative emotional states, feelings of fear, anxiety, despair, and hopelessness. And this subliminal system um, doesn't, it says, just tell a person to feel an emotion. It makes them feel it. It implants that emotion in their minds because they're broadcasting the frequency of that emotion, which gets the body to, to manifest that emotion. They broadcast this stuff to Iraqi troops. And what happened? There was a mass surrender of Iraqi troops. You can use these same techniques to program someone to carry out a terrorist attack. Over and over and over again, you see people involved, particularly in America, in mass shootings, which of course traumatize the population, among many other things, who are clearly um, under forms of mind control and were triggered to do it. When you look at the background uh, evidence, are we so naive as to believe that's not being used on the general population to bring about reactions, responses and behavior from the target population? Of course they are. And when you look therefore at this now gathering and fantastic already grid of transmitter towers, um, of, of Wi-Fi, of uh, smart meters, these are frequencies being broadcast into the environment. People uh, largely don't realize the scale of mind control to which the global human population is constantly subjected. We are at the crossroads here.
we take our minds back or someone else completely takes them over. Conscious thought. There's no ability to reason, to question, to consciously comprehend, to um, critically analyze, to apply any, any knowledge, which is why mind control is used on the U.S. military, because it gives them superhuman capabilities. It also allows for um, superhuman traits like um, 44 times visual acuity. Because when there's no conscious thought, it's as though the subconscious mind will develop heightened senses in other directions to make up for it. It's the same way um, he, a blind person has acute hearing. You know, it, it, the, the brain will make up for it. So with 44 times visual acuity, the soldiers would be able to just point and shoot with pinpoint accuracy. Not only that, but they didn't have that, um, that moment of critical analysis, that conscious thought, that, that moment of compassion, that moment that says that human, that human knowing that we shouldn't be just killing other people. Right. I mean, that's not, it, it, it's against human nature to do that. So the conscious mind is bypassed, programming is put in place, visual acuity is heightened, physical endurance is, is heightened. And then when our military comes home, they don't have that ability to consciously reason through what just happened to them because it's compartmentalized knowledge. When, when Kennedy was assassinated, most people know where they were and what they were doing at that time. And for those who are younger, they know where they were and what they were doing when 911 happened. And it could, because that's a trauma, and that traumatized the whole nation. When that trauma occurs, that is a basis for mind control because it's how our brains respond to trauma. When, our, when trauma occurs, our our, it's as though our conscious mind takes flight or it goes on hold. And the subconscious mind is wide open to be easily led. And that subconscious manipulation is done through using NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. It's the language of the subconscious mind. It's used by all politicians. It's used by advertisers. It's used in global education. It's, it's just a, a natural part of things. When we understand how our brains respond to trauma, when we understand the, what NLP is and how it works, then we can easily, peacefully... Voi cosa date agli uomini? La felicità e loro ci danno l'autorità. L'autorità di privarli della libertà dietro il paravento della democrazia. L'uomo non può essere libero perché è debole, corrotto, inutile, irrequieto. Il popolo crede nell'autorità. È stanco di aspettare i miracoli, di credere nei misteri. La scienza è la sua religione. Non esiste miglior soluzione per i suoi problemi. E non deve mai avere alcun dubbio affinché il nostro progetto vada avanti. Ma quale prezzo pagherà? È del tutto irrilevante. E il risultato è inevitabile. La data è stata fissata. Quale prezzo pagherà affinché possiate raggiungere i vostri scopi? Quanti dovranno morire affinché voi possiate portare avanti il vostro progetto? Però hai paura che loro credano che io sia Dio? Non c'è questo pericolo. Hanno smesso quasi tutti di credere in Dio. E perché? Perché Dio non fa miracoli per guadagnarsi la loro fede. E quindi secondo te l'uomo rifiuta Dio perché non fa più miracoli? Ma certo. Eppure voi governate in nome di Dio. Gli uomini non credono in lui, ma ne hanno ancora paura. In fondo, gli uomini hanno paura della libertà. Invece voi date loro la felicità. Noi placchiamo la loro coscienza. Chiunque sappia placare la coscienza di un uomo gli può togliere la libertà. 